Cruzat was uh, half Omaha and half French and half crazy. And one eye. He was uh, partially blind in one of his eyes. And near sighted in the other. And near sighted in the other. So if you you know if you ever go uh, go out hunting with a man <laughs> like that, no way. Way, uh, whatever you do, make sure he walks in front of you. <laughs> uh, Captain Lewis learned a lesson about that one. Uh, toward the also, end. just a just a word of the wise: if you go on hunting, elk don't wear elk skin pants. <laughs> I didn't think it was a good idea, but I wasn't going to tell you. You want that? Uh, the way that the story came back to me, as we were, was oh, that uh, we we'd been split. The party had been split. We came back together at the at the confluence of the Yellowstone and the Missouri Rivers. Captain Lewis was laying flat on his uh, stomach uh, in the pee room. Mm -hmm. He couldn't sit down because of his injury that was peculiarly located. And I was worried what had happened. And he said that uh, well, a number of men said they were attacked by Indians. Uh, but you didn't see any Indians around when you got a shot. That's true. Uh, Cruzat swears. I was shot, I fell, and uh, I, I leaned myself against a tree, prepared to sell my life as dearly as possible, thinking we were about to be overrun by these you know, warlike savages. And, uh, Turns out there was apparently no one there, although certain members of the party, including Cruzat, will swear that they saw Indians in the hills, but... Cruzat said never saw him. Uh, I mean, Captain Lewis was shot in, as I reported, uh, the extreme upper thigh. 